Baraka Dayahawa, Baraka Dayahawa Shai, Baraka Dayahawa, Baraka Dayahawa Shai, Baraka Dayahawa, Baraka Dayahawa Shai. Call Holon Yom La, Yahawa Bahasham Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the name of the Father, Bahasham, which means in the name, Yahweh Shai is the name of the Messiah, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You know? Shalom to all you Achim. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you Achim around the world preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity and with charity. So um, with that, you know, I'm just going to the little lesson the Spirit had me put together. You know, a, a response to um, the, uh, the elder, one of the heads, head brothers of our camp. You know, one of the elders of our camp, the brother Uriah, you know, a response video to his video um, entitled Examine Thyself, you know. So, um, let me just go straight into it. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 13, verse 5. It says, Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. So the scripture says, examine yourselves. That word examine to try whether a thing can be done. You know, examine yourselves. It got a, a, a lot of definitions in here, but I'm going to get to the to the main point uh, down in the Strong's uh, definition. Basically is to scrutinize, you know, to scrutinize because it says Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. And you look up this word prove. It says to test, examine, prove, scrutinize. To see whether a thing is genuine or not. As metals, right? Because Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah says um, we're being tried as gold is being tried. You know? He says some men's work are, are, are gold and silver and precious stones. And some men are, are wood, hay, and stubble. So when you put the fire to these different works, hey, the wood, hay, and stubble gonna fucking burn right up, you know. But that, but that, that, that gold, silver, and precious stones is is gonna burn off all the impurities out of it, and it's gonna leave that 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 pure gold or that pure silver, you know. Definition two says to recognize as genuine after examination to approve to deem worthy. So it says, examine yourselves, right? Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. So you need to prove your own self, man. Are, are, are you ready or, uh, for everything that's entitled with being in the truth, man? Are you ready to be looked uh, looked at as, as, as the filth of this world, as the scriptures call us in, in 1 Corinthians? The off scoring, you know? Are you ready to be looked at as the filth? Are you ready to be looked at as a terrorist? Because that's what they're going to label us. Are you, are you ready for your friends and your family to possibly disown you? Are you ready to die for this thing? Are you ready to give your life for Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai as Yahweh Shai gave his life for us? Are you ready for that? Because you need to examine yourself, man. We each, each, each one of us need to examine our own selves man whether whether we're mentally prepared for these things to come you know and that's where it all comes comes into faith man in in, in, in prayer faith and prayer the next scripture i'm gonna get is luke 21 and 16 because the scripture says examine yourselves man so 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 you must um Put in mind all the things that, that's to come with being in his truth. This is Luke 21 and 16. It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. So are you ready uh, to be betrayed by your parents, your brethren, your family, your friends? Huh? Are you ready to be put to death for, the, for this word? That's why we must examine ourselves, you know, whether we be in the faith. 
you know everything that comes with being in the faith everything that comes with proclaiming the name of y'all by sham y'all shot because the scripture says that um through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven you know so 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 you mu so you must think about and realize these things if you really in it for the long haul because i pray y'all by sham y'all uh keeps his spirit on me for the long haul man i'm gonna go to the next scripture now this is uh john chapter 12 and verse 25 which says he that loveth his life shall lose it right so you examine yourself and you find out like look man i ain't really for this man hey well you gonna fucking die anyway <laughs> you gonna die anyway because if you love this life you gonna lose your fucking life it says, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it. So you hate it. So, hey man, we hate this living conditions, hate living like this. We hate being in this goddamn flesh sinning, man. We hate sinning, man. The Heavenly Father can't even can't, can't even look down on us because we're so fucking wretched and filthy and, and, and wicked, man. It says, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. You know? So, 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 so you must examine yourselves, man. And a part of examining yourself is knowing that, look, man, we ain't got shit on this side, man. What is there for us on this side? In this fucking flesh. In this wicked ass society. Nothing, man. So that's why, hey, Yabasham Yasharatas, I mean, I gladly die for this word, you know, and, and, and go through whatsoever that the Most High got lined up for us to go through, man, gladly, man. Examine yourself whether ye be in the faith. We must continue to do it. And I'm going to jump to uh, Luke 14. You know, because I don't want to make this too long and drawn out. So, you know, I'm going to just, you know, Lord will grab these scriptures, make the points, you know, and, and, and make it, you know, as fast as, as fast as I could through the spirit. This is Luke 14, 28. It says, for which of you intending to build a tower, sit it not down first and count of the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. So, so OK, look at this architect. He got in his mind, man, I'm finna build this building, man. And he just starts building, right? Verse 29, Lest happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. So, so he started building the building and come to find out he wanted to be fucking 20 stories. But he only got building enough for three stories. So now everybody that's come by and see this building gonna mock like, look at this dude, man. The fuck, you just gonna start building and you ain't prepare yourself, man. Well, it's the same thing as in this truth. We must continually, con continually examine ourselves, man, whether we got enough to continue to build upon. And as long as you in the spirit and production, the scripture says that you should be fruitful. So, so yeah, you will continue to build if you in the spirit. You know. So you don't want to be this guy who 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 didn't have who didn't have enough to, to finish his building, man. So that's why we must continually examine ourselves, man. Each and every day. And that starts with myself, man. Hey, cause Apostle Gabar always says the best teacher teaches himself first. You know? Because that because it leads right to the next scripture. This is Matthew 7. I'm going to start at the top. It says, judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Right? So whatever judgment you place on another brother, you better make sure you ain't doing that same shit, man. Whatever uh, uh, measure you give another brother, hey, man, you better hold yourself to that same measure. Right? 
verse 3. It says, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Oh, how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. So you must examine yourself, you must prove yourself, you must check yourself first, man. You you must, hey, before you speak against another brother, you better make sure that you sound and on tight on what you speaking to that brother about, man. So that's that's that that's why we must examine ourselves and prove ourselves whether we be in the faith. You know? We must continually keep ourselves examined because this thing I didn't put this down, but um it's a scripture I believe it's in um Corinthians where it says um he that is spiritual yeah it's 1 Corinthians uh, tw uh, 2 and 15. It says, But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Why? Because that, because he's constantly examining himself. Because when you examine yourselves and you cut yourself, then then the next brother ain't got to do it. You know? Because you constantly examining your own self, man. You constantly on your own ass, telling you, telling yourself that you need to do this and that. That I ain't supposed to be doing this and I ain't supposed to be doing that. You know, you constantly on your own self. Cause me personally, man, I, I, I get on myself more than anybody else, man. Cause I know me. That's why in in, in Second Corinthians thirteen and five it says, "Know ye not your own selves." Right, because I, I know me, man. So I must keep myself in in, in order and myself in check. You know. The next scripture I'm gonna grab is uh Romans the second chapter. And the twenty first verse, because it lines right up with that Matthew seven. Um, Romans two twenty one. It says, "Thou therefore which teachest another." Teachest thou not thyself? And Paul is asking a question. So you teaching another and you ain't teaching yourself? Scriptures in Proverbs, uh, it's a scripture in Proverbs where it says, He that watereth, watereth also himself. So when you teach, of course you teach yourself, right? So it says, Thou therefore which teaches another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, doest thou steal? Thou Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, doest thou commit adultery? Thou that abhorrest idols, doest thou commit sacrilege? You know? So before you tell a brother to do this and that, examine your own self, man. Check your own self. Because we must constantly do that. We must constantly check our own selves, man. Now I'm going to go from there to John, the fourth chapter, man, because, because the Most High seeks those to worship him well the scripture's gonna say it. this is john 4 and verse 24 it says the most high is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth and when you worship him in, in truth you're constantly examining yourself because you want to make sure you're on point that you're walking in the truth right so you're going to constantly examine yourself and prove yourself, you know, because the Most High seeks for those to worship him in spirit and in truth. And if you're not doing that, you know, if you're not worshiping in spirit and in truth, then you can't please him. As it says in, in, in this verse, I'm getting right here. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. So you must worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And when you're doing that, that's in faith. It's all it's all together, you know. In spirit and in truth, you know. 
And from there, I'm gonna grab um uh first Corinthians the eleventh chapter in the twenty eighth verse. Because it said you must believe that he is. This is um first Corinthians eleven and twenty eight. It says, But let a man examine himself, right? So examine yourself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. What bread? These scriptures. What cup? The scriptures, man. You know? Let him eat uh, uh, eat of uh, eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Dealing, dealing with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know? Uh, 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 the e even um when we celebrate the Passovers in, in, in our Sabbath services, man. When we break the bread and we drink the wine. You know? That's symbolic of Yahweh Shah's body, of partaking in this knowledge. When we read these, when we read the book, we're eating. The scripture says that, um, has thou found honey, eat so much as sufficient for thee. Honey is the scriptures. It says, eat this whole roll, it was sweet in my mouth as honey, and bitter in my stomach. It says it in Ezekiel, and it says it in, in, in Revelation. You know, so we're partaking, we're partakers of Yahweh Shah when we eat the bread and drink of the cup, when we deal in this knowledge, when we when we in the scriptures. Verse 29, it says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, right? Because this guy ain't examining himself, he's he haven't been proven himself. So it says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself not discerning the lord's body because when we when we sit and sup and read and break these scriptures down and go into these scriptures man hey we're dealing with uh, yahweh we're eating we're eating and teaching of yahweh shah man hebrews 10 and 7 says what lo i have i come in the volume of the book it is written of me you know so you're not discerning the lord's body man when you partake in 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 the truth, man. You guys that's that, that's not examining yourselves. You guys that really don't believe in this thing. And I'm gonna end it up with this scripture right here. This is uh Romans 14 in the last verse, which says, "And he that doubteth." Is damned if he eat eat what man of that bread in that cup it says and he that doubteth is damned if he eat because he eateth not of faith for whatsoever is not of faith is sin and we just read in Hebrews 11 and 6 that without faith it is impossible to please him so you must eat of this in faith man and and in spirit and in truth and constantly examine yourself, man. Make sure you right, and then you can get your brothers right, man. So, you know, hey, with that, man, I hope you brothers was edified. You know, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you Akim around the world preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And, 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 and brothers, man, and then starting start with myself first and foremost, man, we must continually, continually examine ourselves, man. Because if, if we continually examine ourselves, as the scripture says, a, a, we are judged of no man, you know. So until next time, Shalom, brothers.